How do we test a 230, 240 volt, 50 hertz motor controller board assembly? We can basically do the same test here as we can do at the panel or at the EQD, such as the brown to black wires here for the identifying resistor, or the brown to red wire for the on-off switch out of water in this case since it's not installed in a core. And since the wires are not attached, we'll have to probe right here at the common terminal of the relay where the red pump wire is normally landed. Now the brown to red checks are going to be the only checks that we do when we're using an auto ranging meter that will be polarity sensitive as far as your probe placement is concerned. So let's go ahead and start with this. I'll put my auto ranging meter here into the ohm scale. I'll go ahead and tell you I'm going to start with the black one here on the brown wire and I'll take the red probe and probe the common terminal where the red pump wire is normally landed. And in this orientation, you see we get 3.2 million ohms and it's increasing in value. Okay, that's going to be a good reading for this orientation because we should see million ohms in an increasing manner. Now, if I change these around and I put the red probe now onto the brown wire, okay, and I take the black probe and I probe the common terminal where the red pump wire is normally landed. I should see a stable million ohm reading somewhere between 1 and 11 million ohms. And as you can see, we're reading 9.25 million ohms. So that would be a good reading for that orientation. So now I'm going to go ahead and switch here to a manually set meter. Let me get my meter up here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and set this into a manual scale of 2000K or 2 million ohms. Okay. And I'll take my probes. Now this is not going to be polarity sensitive. If you noticed in the last couple of readings that we took with the auto ranging meter, we read 3.2 million ohms in rising and we read 9 million ohms in the other orientation. Well, since we're in the 2 million ohm scale, this scale will not be high enough to pick either one of those readings up. So I'll go ahead and probe here on the common terminal just to demonstrate. And as you can see, we're reading an open. And just to demonstrate as well, the polarity will not matter on this so once again an open so as you can tell really the only true way to test from brown to red and get an actual reading would be to use an auto ranging meter because we will not see anything with a manually set meter so while i got my red probe in here i'll go ahead and i can test the identifying resistor by going from brown to black regardless of the orientation and I should read somewhere between 86K and 96K. But since we're in the million ohm scale, it would be represented as 0 0.086 to 0 0.096. And as you can see, we've got 0 0.090. So that would be a good reading for our identifying resistor. Okay. So a few other checks we can do is here on the relay itself. We have a common terminal here. We have a normally open terminal here and a normally closed terminal there. So between the common terminal and the normally open, I should read an open or no continuity. And that's what we see. Between the common and the normally closed, I should read continuity or zero, zero, zero. Between the normally open and the normally closed, I should have no continuity or an open mode as well. Okay, so there's one other test that we can do here. And that's going to be for the actual capacitance of our start capacitor. So I'll need a meter that I can set into a microfarad range in order to test this. So I'll go ahead and set my meter there to the microfarad range. And now the polarity of this is irrelevant because all we're going to do is look for capacitance. So we'll probe the two terminals on that and we'll wait for it to stabilize. And it looks like it's stabilized at about 504 microfarads. So that would be a good reading because as you can see on the side of the capacitor is a sticker here that says 431 to 516 microfarads. So that 504 microfarad reading would be good and within that range. That concludes testing the 230, 240 volt, 50 hertz motor controller board assembly.